Welcome to a special edition of Shelby This Week. The conditions of our roadways have been a top concern for Michigan drivers. Potholes seem to have taken over and many people have experienced damage to their cars because of the terrible state our roads are in right now. People want to know what our elected officials are doing to solve this issue. To discuss this topic, I want to welcome Macomb County Executive Mark Hackle and State Representative Peter Lacido. Gentlemen, thank you for joining me today. Thanks for thank having us. Thank you. Thanks for having us. So let's go ahead and get started. Lansing okays $175 million in road funding, but when you break down the amount, it doesn't seem like a lot. Pete, I want to start off with you. Do you think this is enough money to solve our road problems here? No. Never has been, never will be. And the reality is, it's Public Act 51. 67 years ago before Executive Hackle and myself were even born, Public Act 51 measures the length of the road, not the lanes. And as a result, when we're giving length of the road, up north gets more. Macomb, Oakland, and Wayne are donor counties. We've been donating our money for many, many years. And coming into the legislature three years ago, start my fourth year now, I knew that, I know that or the uh, executive known that, Public Act 51, because of the amount of votes, you need to get 56 in the House, 20 in the Senate, and the executive, the governor, to sign it. If that happens, Public Act 51 would be changed because many years ago, there was two, high, two lane highways. And today, what you have is, we have Hall Road, let's say it's six lanes on each side. They're only giving us money for a certain amount of that road. And it's not fair. And I know my, my colleague, Representative Yarrick, put a bill in that said, let's measure now all the roads. So if it's four lanes to two lanes, they should get more money with four lanes. Because if they're all equal, it takes more money to fix two more lanes. And 51 is just what it is. We do get 2.5% 2, 2 for the county of that $175 million or $4.5 million came to the county from that. Now, did something go to the cities and the villages? Yes, it did. The total package was about $7 million that came from the $175 million. Is that enough? No. Did we let the roads go too long? Way too long. Is it causing frustration and panic? Of course. We are the densest from Macomb, Wayne, and Oakland. We should get the most money because the up north crew Let's face it, those lanes are beautiful once we start traveling up north. And to the point, some of these are millage run on some of these counties, they hold millages. I don't want any tax increase. I know the executive doesn't. And we have to live with the problem. Well, when the funding is not there, and there was many legislators before me, and there was many um, people up in Lansing talking about it, but you need the votes. How do you get to the votes? That's what I'd like to have an explanation of and find out from either our lobbyist here in Macomb County or our, our, our executive's branch from legislature who's working with them, how they intend our legislature to get together and work together to get this vote done. And you have been quoted as saying, no, this $175 million is not enough. Well, in your opinion, what, do you, what would be enough from Lansing? This is a bigger problem than Act 51 or any other you know, $1.2 billion solution that came about in two, 2015. And even what uh, you know, we're talking about this 175 I mean, this is woefully inadequate. I say that because the, the, probably the premier study that was done, and it was a state uh, actual study that was done back in November of 2008. This study talking about the Transportation Funding Task Force was established in 2008 for a purpose because back then they realized the monumental concern we had with roads. That was in 2008. So this was a disastrous issue in 2008 and it still hasn't been addressed and I say that for this reason because back then when the study came out they said at that time in 2008 we need 1.9 billion dollars to do nothing meaning to break even with what we've got going on. We needed 6.1 billion dollars to start getting better roads. And then they talked about the premier one of $12 billion to have, you know, really good roads in, in, the, in Michigan. And nothing was done since that time. Absolutely nothing. We would continue to talk about, you know, what we might want to do with, you know, registration fees. We talk about Act 51, talk about gross vehicle weights. We talk about the difference between a linear mile versus a mile. All those things will never come to the concern of uh, actually addressing the funding for roads. It's not going to happen. Macomb County, by example, I've got 1,500 miles of roads in Macomb County. 1,500 miles of roads. Over 780 miles of roads in Macomb County are in our poor condition and need fixing. So 
I just had, and we have an assessment done, made a determination with our asset management. Those roads will cost 1.2 billion in Macomb County alone to fix, and the funding isn't there. So the simple solutions, I'm gonna break it down for you. When you talk about the $1.2 billion in funding that the state had brought about in 2015, and they're talking about how it'll start to kind of come our way uh, in 2021, it's not a reality. When they talk about this, this is the vehicle registration in your gas tax increase right here. This amount, the 600 million. That 600 million isn't 600 million. Why do I say that? Because 400 million out of that with your gas tax and your vehicle registration is being actually is redirected to a fund within the transportation fund of the state. So it was a replacement. 400 million of that money went back into the state uh, budget. It didn't come to the roads. So it left us with 200 million. Now we're talking about this blue area here. The blue area is the other 600 million that they guaranteed would come out of the general fund that was promised of a future legislature that the current legislature will deal. Well, just hot off the press today, the business leaders of Michigan, 80 of the largest businesses in Michigan just got through saying, that can't happen. And I said it from the day they actually instituted this saying, this money is never coming. This 1.2 billion is not a reality. So what are we getting out of this? 200 million. So there's been a $200 million solution to fix roads. And what does that equate to for Macomb County? You're talking about $5 million. What does $5 million get me for fixing 780 miles of roads? What that gets me is approximately two miles of a two lane road in Macomb County. I'm telling you, we are so far behind on this issue. Act 51 isn't gonna solve the problem. All these other you know, plans that people say, well, we need to work on gro gross vehicle weights, and you know, how about the, if we start establishing toll roads or whatever, the complexity of that is so far gone that this is going to be a monstrous problem unless we have new money that is actually established by the legislature to funnel into fixing our roads. Well, to, to the point, our, our budget's about $56 billion. Of that, about $4.2 billion is the roads. So even if we use the entire rainy day fund, which was also broached, Macomb County would only realize 2.5%. So for all the viewers out there, that would give the executive $25 million on a best day for all the rainy day money of the $2 billion, uh, the $1 billion that's sitting there. So let's talk about that. How much does Macomb County need? Has there been a study done to the point of the executive to see how much money before we start fishing for money, because schools does this with me, the roads now are doing it with me as a legislator, and every other handout that's out there. We need to first say, this is our action plan, this is how much we need, and go to work on it as a team. This is not gonna be done individually, because you have 45 votes between Wayne, Oakland, and Macomb. You need 56, so we're short already votes to get it done, so we're gonna need something. Public Act 51 would help an awful lot because we have multiple highways down here, multiple lanes, and we're getting cheated because of the lanes. So but before I go ahead and in, in business for 30 years, I used to have to do a budget. My budget was, this road is gonna cost me this amount of money. Here's a, a, a PACER report for all the roads in Macomb County. Now I have something in hand to go argue, some evidence and says this is what our county needs. New money? Out of the $56 billion that are sitting around in the budget, there's not a nickel left. We had a lapse account, that's how this money came and it went to the roads. Is he correct about saying it's not enough? Absolutely. Did we know this for many years? Absolutely. What do we do moving forward? Where does he, the executive, expect the legislature to find new money? I want to hear. That's your responsibility. My job is to fix the roads, and so to that point, when you say knowing exactly how much every road costs, in Macomb County, we just had a study done. How and, much is it then? Hang on, let me finish, Pete. I'll let you talk. So I'm gonna tell you exactly how much it is. In fact, I've got something that nobody else has in the entire state of Michigan. We've done an asset management of every road in Macomb County. Every road that is a red road from that PACER study that you had is no longer just the PACER study from 2015 to 2016, it's up to date. We use two outside firms, and to this date, every road in Macomb County that is in the red. I have an exact cost of what that would cost to fix that road. And so, so tell right the now, viewers so out there on, what so the cost is so we know what we're, we're going to fish for. It's over $1.2 billion. And so when I say $1.2 billion to fix Macomb County roads, I can right now, if you show me the money, which is a legislative responsibility, I can now go ahead and bid out any one of those roads, any one of those projects in any community. I'm ready to start that work and we can do that tomorrow, but I can't do a thing unless I know somebody's gonna be able to say, we have the money to go ahead and pay for that project. Okay, so I was a no with the roads when I first got up there. I was no against Prop 1, even though the executive was all on board about Prop 1. 
because he knew at that time there wasn't going to be enough money and it wasn't going to get found because many years have went by where the legislature has not fixed the problem. By me getting there, I said, look, you're going to find new money? There's the interest from the catastrophic claims fund of $20 billion that are sitting in that fund. Those autonomous cars, as the executive knows, are coming and they're going to be coming slowly in, which will cause less accidents. To go ahead and find new money when the legislature's votes said 7.5% on gas tax, 20% on registration, add the pile together. Since 2016, we've been getting $600 million, $600 million that went into roads exclusively from those two. Macomb County, again, even at a billion dollars, doubling that number, is only going to realize $25 million of a billion dollars because it's 2.5%. That money is never going to do it, and that's why I was a no on the gas tax and a no on the registration. I believe that if we're going to use some money for the tri-county area of new money, you have to go ahead and look at what would have to be a constitutional change. Candace Miller and I just talked about this. Do we need a ballot initiative? Because Public Act 51 is 67 years old, and you can't move it. I said, probably. Do we need to look at other sources where the pools are there, like the Department of Natural Resources? Do we have to look at some of the economic money, the economic development money that's sitting around? Or do we look at one other pool of money? The Catastrophic Claims Association is causing catastrophic injuries. It's blowing wheels out. It's blowing tires. We need to stop it and start looking at that money. And I have a bill in. The, rep, the executive knows this. They won't take it up because they say, even though the policy makes sense, that's a private fund. The legislator made it a private fund. I want to make it unprivate and start using that money to stop the bleeding here in Macomb County. This, this has been the problem. Since 2008, that's exactly what's been happening with the legislative body. 2008, they said probably if you want to do nothing, come up with $1.9 billion. That's what they said in 2008 because of the crisis that they were seeing at that time. Since that time, that's all we're seeing is this continued talk about changing Act 51, trying to figure out where do we get the money from. That is the responsibility of the legislature, but the problem is this has been over a decade now. This looming crisis has been over a decade that we have not had the funding. So whether it's a it's local... It's a good thing I just got so, there three years ago. So whether it's a local DPW, we'll whether it's a county one. road department, whether it's MDOT, we're all saying the same thing. Southeast Michigan, we have an incredible crisis on our hand. In Macomb County, to your point, Asset management, we have done that in no other, no other county so in the entire state. So 1.2 billion, if we gave 1.2, all of our roads would be smooth. How long would that take? You know what, and I don't need the 1.2 billion now. What I, what I need to know is, if I had $50 million more a year to deal with roads, I at least can say to the public, 50. you know what, I can at least say to the public, I can guarantee you probably a 3 to 5% increment in changing those, those red roads into green, as opposed to what's happening now, Pete. What I'm dealing with right now, with the current funding I have right now, I get it. and even if you changed Act 51, I get it. what I'm going to see is, I'm going to see roads that are in somewhat you know, fair condition turn, turn poor, into poor. poor condition quicker than I can take those roads that are red in poor condition and turn them into green. So we're going in a wrong direction. I, it's going to take it. me at least $50 million more a year for Macomb County alone just to say to the public, I bet you we can do a little bit better, 3 to 5% increment each year to try to turn your roads from red to green. Oh. Right now, it's not happening. And the more we talk about this, the more we hear the discussions out of Lansing, the worse this crisis is getting. And the worst thing to do is to get out there and try to promote that the problem's been solved with a $1.2 billion, you know, I guess, if you will, resolution or, or movement on behalf of the safe. This was not $1.2 billion. On. We're this both is $200 on the same million. page. You, you, you say the same thing I am. Right. I voted no on that. It, remember? It, but, remember that. But we still need some Something. I, I get it, you voted no on this, dollars. but Wait, what are we getting? Million coming from registration and from gas tax, from all the people driving, even though we're having electric cars, even though we're also going to have some, uh, uh, you know, gas cars. But do you agree with me but that 600 million, 400. It's not going to do it. Wait a minute. It's but 400 of that and, never and hit the roads. Gonna, but let's talk 400 about. 400 of it never hit the roads. Let's talk about even though 1.2 billion in this package that was passed in the legislation was passed in 2015, and two years later, we only had 600 million coming in. That means Macomb County only got 12.5 million. I know real numbers. The reality is, oh. even, even in 2021, when everything is gonna be in at 1.2 billion, 
Macomb County still getting cheated under public act. And I would agree with you with that. 51. I agree. Public act 51 needs to be fixed, but the big problem right now is trying to figure out how do we come up with funding that is so, that is so I mean it's so poorly funded right now. When you talk about 1.9 billion is what they said yep. was to do nothing. That was the do nothing plan. They come up with something that says we got 1.2 we got 1.2 billion right now that is supposed to have solved this problem because the public and the rest of the even through the media, they see that big B number and they say, "Wow, that should have solved the problem." Even if it was 1.2 billion, even if this were true, that in 2008 was less than the do-nothing plan. So I mean, we're talking six. What do we give the taxpayers? I want to get to the bottom line. Here's what I give them. I would like to see some help from the executive branch, also the lobbyist, as well as the legislative liaison, to say to us, "I've been up there already. I know because I've been a lobbyist up there. The meaning the the, the people. This is what you guys have to look at." I don't know every pool of money up there, nor do I claim I, I know it. I do know that when I found the 20 billion, it was a good starting point. It was a good talking point to say, what is the purpose of that money in there if we're never gonna spend it? The rainy day fund, even on our best day, and I want at least an acquisition from you, putting a billion dollars from the rainy day fund, we'd have to bring all that money out of there, and that's not gonna happen because everybody would go crazy but looking at 2.5% 2, 2. is only 25 million. We still got a shortfall. And it's not even that. I mean, it's actually less than that. And right now, even talk about that 175 million. Folks, you got to understand this. What 175 million got us here in Macomb County was $4.5 million. 175 million got us $4.5 million. That's for the county, and with Mark. It, Wait, tell I our agree. viewers, though, with the we did get 2.5 for the, the townships and the cities, too. For the county. So the county itself, at 170, well, I'm talking about 7 million 100, all together, the 175. 780 miles right now. So what did I have to do? I had to look around and say, okay, what mile and a half of a two-lane two road do I want to fix with this? I can't. That money, I'm telling you right now, that good money, that taxpayer money, is going into potholes. That's what we're doing with that money right now because it, we're not solving the real problem. Incidentally, I agree. And it's a funding problem. So, so I want solutions from the executive branch. I know you say you, you, see, it's the I, legislators. It is. But let's talk reality here. It is. Telling the legislators that, you know, you guys got to figure it out isn't really working as a partnership. And tell that's what, what we need. Pass, we need to work in Macomb County. I'll tell you what, as here's, a a, here's a suggestion pass a law that gives the executive of Macomb County the authority to make that decision and how we find new money. And I'll guarantee you that funding issue will be fixed. In the meantime, yeah, I got a bunch of legislators because that are more a, concerned about trying to figure out to do that. how do they dance around the issue, talk about things that are going to confuse the public so that we can't come up with the true funding that's necessary that has languished for well over a decade now, mm -hmm. and it's getting worse. So, so I stand ready to fix any road in Macomb County. We know the cost of it, and I could bid it out tomorrow. But the thing I can't do is move forward unless I know there's funding, and that's the responsibility of the legislative branch. So we'll, we'll, if we can't find a pool of money of the legislative branch, are you willing to go to the taxpayers of this county to do a millage? Why should, why should Macomb County Board of Commissioners, and that's what you're asking them, you're asking me to do that. It's a legislative responsibility. What you're asking is the Board of Commissioners. Hang on. You're asking the Board of Commissioners of Macomb County. No, I'm not. Yes, you are, because I can't, I can't put a millage on the ballot. The Board of Commissioners has to. So that's a legislative no responsibility. Pool, there's no new pools of money, because watch. Mark, 67 years ago, before you were born and I was born, 51 was in there. We Act 51, and everybody knows. You keep going knows, back to Act 51. I get everybody it. Everybody knows it, that it was question. improper funding. I, there's so no tell me how, if we don't change that, we can't have a constitutional amendment to try to change it because it may not get the votes. We're putting it into the RTA that, 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 that you wanted to support. I want to support just fixing the road so, out in front of my house. So, Pete, this has been talked about. You're not the first one to bring this up about Act 51 trying to change it. It's gone on forever. Mm -hmm. Nobody's been able to do it because we know we're outvoted. So you keep talking about this. Nothing happens out of it. Even if I, with Brooks Patterson and Warren Evans, try to do the work on behalf of the legislatures to get other legislatures to do this, it's still going to have its challenges. So in the meantime, we languish. We sit back and we worry about where does true funding come. The thing you don't want to talk about is how do we raise revenue to support the issue I'm of I'm going to tell you now. And if we don't do that. In 2017, everybody, the county executive is going to get 53,479,239. And these numbers are right from Lansing. So in 2017, this year, you'll see on the budget of the executives for roads, 53. Nothing else. And the county is going to get, in general, all the way through for the cities, townships, and villages. Ninety-one million five hundred two. Are you again, aware of that? And hang on, hang on. I go back to big numbers. Like, are you aware of those numbers? I'm certainly aware of those numbers. Perfect. So, so you're going to get your fifty million for yeah. the county. And so you want to help? But fifty. Million. I just want to make sure when you get it that these roads get fixed. Then 
because Pete, you just asked for a legislative fix. Pete, you ready? 50 million means now that I have to figure out through our budget, how do we actually fix roads at 50 million? You know what 50 million gets me for new, Pete? That's what you I'm told us your question. though. You said 50 million you need. 50 million, Pete. You, you're talking about 50 million. Way back when, about 15 years ago, it was 45 million. We, we've gotten nothing. It's been on a steady decline over the years. 50 million is finally just starting to come up to where it's now back to where it was 15 years ago. The problem is so exacerbated. Let me help you out. You know what 50 million gets me? It gets me once again about I'm going to say 20 miles of a two-lane road. How much do That's we have left in our road fund right now in the county? How much is in there right now? Approximately 50 million. Okay, so if you have 50 million, what roads are going to be done? I know Mound Road. I saw they've already been spoken for. You could take a look. You can go on the current website and take a look for 2018, 19, and 20. That money is already spoken for and it's already been spent. Okay. And you know what? It is having a negative or adverse impact. We can't keep up with the problem. Do you think the way the, the roads problem. are built today is a problem? The salt that's put on. Here we go again, talking I'm about things that are I'm asking you a question concerns. because when you build these roads, Pete, I want to be able to be looking Pete. at the people that are hired by you to make sure that they're hired in a way that are going to put the taxpayers away from a problem again. You can go ahead and pick on DPWs, you can I pick on pick road workers, you can pick on MDOT workers, but they understand their this job and they don't, they're craftsmen. You know what the problem is, Pete? They can't even do those things that you're talking about, the proper maintenance for preservation. Preservation is a big part of when you have a brand new road, how do you deal with sealing and how do you deal with the cracks and make sure you do that? But there's not even enough money for us to be able to do that with the new roads for preservation in the long term. Pete, $50 million, do you really know what that That's means? That's the county, you 91 like, million. You like to talk about you know, these big numbers. 91 for the entire county, including our cities and our townships. You're exactly right. I'm talking about 780 miles of Macomb County roads. You're right. That's we an increase of $25 million from 2016. 25 more million dollars coming into this county. And you're saying the legislature, this was not my doing, this is what I'm stuck with after the vote. Pete, because I knew seven and a half cents a gallon wasn't going to cut it and 20% of the regi registration. Folks, just so you know, Pete will continue to talk about that. 25 million means about 12 and a half million for roads. What does 12 and a half well, million no, 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 get no. me? It gets me about six miles of roads. This You're right. Coming out Those are bigger numbers. But the you Department know what? The Department of Transportation gave me these numbers to solve and the it problem. shows 25 more million is coming in from 2016 to 2017. That is correct. That is correct. And so by the time you use that for, for road maintenance, by the time you use it for preservation, and by the time we look at what's left over for construction, Pete, it gives me about $12 million. $12 million gets me about four or five millions of a two-lane road. We are That's so far behind. That's more than you had to work with in 2015 God bless you I for giving it. me at least something to work with. But I'm telling you, those numbers don't even help us keep pace with the problem that we're seeing with the roads that are in fair condition turning into red condition. I can't keep pace with it because the funding isn't there but you fail to want to address the real issue and that's coming up with the proper funding. It's not just a Macomb County thing. This is all over Southeast Michigan. How many legislators Michigan? do you have in, up there in the, in, in the, in the legislature? You I me. represent Shelby. That's why me. I'm here today. If you go ahead and look at the 10 of us that are up there and you look at the rest of the delegation, we have somebody there that we go to at your behest. His name is Gary Owens and he's at a GCSI. He's our one that's supposed to take the bull by the horns and explain to us things that he knows that's been there for a long time. I'm willing to listen about how else. I only saw one more pool. I can't take it away from Health and Human Services. I can't take it away from our schools. I can't take it away from other activities of prisons and, 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 and corrections because I have to protect residents too when we throw a vote down. I'd like to know out of the $56 billion that has nothing left at the end where this new pool of money is because I took apart the budget when I got there and I said, I'll only be a no on this bill unless I have an alternative. And I came with the alternative. And the legislature only takes bills up that the leadership wants. And I still want that bill taken up because I feel sorry for our insurance claims the way they are. We're having less people with these problems and that is the only pool of money I can find. If somebody else in the audience out there in Shelby wants to help their legislator, let me know what pool there is. If my executive wants to help me and help the legislator, let us know. But to ask us to find something that doesn't exist in a budget, and you look at budgets every day, I want to see it. That's your responsibility is to figure out how do you create it. They just tax the people, Mark. <laughs> the people were taxed, seven and a half percent. No, the people were taxed. Pete, I'm gonna that go back to That was not my solution. I hang am on. not one to tax. I, hang on. That tax, once again, let's be very clear on this. That tax 
600 million of that tax, talking about your gas tax and your vehicle registration, was supposed to deal with 600 million dollars. That never happened. So yes, whatever. No, that's untrue. Pete, stop, stop, stop. It's right here. Pete, stop. 600 million came in from the gas tax at 7.5% and 20% of the registration fees. 600 million came in the last two years, and it's right here in black and white. I know you don't want the public to hear this, but let me finish. Okay? That's 600 million. 400 million of that money that did get taxed out of vehicle registration and gas tax went to take care of the budgetary shortfall the state had for transportation because of money that was borrowed there. It was not new money that went to roads. So that 600 million is 200 million. You are right. They're taxing the people, they're collecting that money, but 400 million of it was a replacement How much for money that, that was borrowed. County? So, so we're both at a same So now rate. we're at 200. 2.5% of 400. 200 million. Would it give you an extra $8 million? No, no. That gave me probably about $5 million. <laughs> See, that gave me $5 million. So it's not enough. That's, a, that's less than two. So both so, of us are saying So it's still whatever not happened enough. here, exactly. It's not enough. So the point being is, what do we do? We just continue no, to no. figure out. Oh, no. The we, dialogue. This year is never going to happen. The dialogue has to stop. This year is never going to happen. Action has to be taken. So, but I want to know what action you would like taken as the executive too. I just want to make sure people understand when they hear these big numbers like millions and billions, okay, the reality is it's not millions and billions. When they talked about this 1.2 with a B, this is really 1.2 with a BS. This is not. <laughs> That's this, cute. This is not 1.2 billion. 2021 is where this phase in This crap. money was 200 million. 2021 That's all it was. You know about so 2000. So we can both agree that obviously there isn't enough money coming not down. Not from Macomb County. To Macomb for Macomb County, nope. yes. Southeast Michigan. I can't even just say Macomb right. County. You're it's right. all over Southeast Michigan. This is this problem doesn't just it doesn't just end at our borders. I'm telling you, this is an unbelievable crisis, for and Detroit? it's going to take new money, new funding to figure this out. And so, if it's not going to happen, we're going to continue to see this crisis. The potholes you're seeing today are going to be nothing compared to what's going to be happening in April. And if it doesn't get solved, and we don't see that new money, I guarantee you, next year people are going to be screaming as loud, if not louder, because we here in Macomb County, I'm ready to bid out every project, every road project in Macomb County, if the funding comes through. So my job is to fix those roads the minute I get that money that comes from those well, that are responsible. Well, you still now, so we might as well use that. You're right. I'll continue to fix those 20 miles of road in Macomb County. One more thing. I'd, to like, to have, we can. I'd like to have the three executives, Warren Evans, Mark Hackle, and Brooks Patterson, all come to the solution of the 45 people that vote for them up in, Wash in Lansing so that I'll have the ability to say we'll work as a team. That's the way I'd like to see things done a united front of the Tri-County, Southeast Michigan, standing together and unified so we can get this job done for the people here at home. But, and I don't so, see a problem with that, but I don't understand why the legislature is, and that's their job to work Mark, together? Mark, you've known we needed the votes up there since people... But why can't the legislatures figure that out? You guys talk to each other and work with each other all the time. Because we want so to we can both agree money is an issue here, and I do appreciate you both coming in um, for this discussion, and hopefully we do see a change um, in our road quality and stop seeing those Absolutely. potholes out here. So and, and you know what? I'll get a shovel out today, and I'll get those potholes filled as much as I can, even though I know that that's not the solution, but it's a Band-Aid on a wound that's been out there for the last 67 years. Still can't believe we're talking about potholes. So we're thank you that. both you for uh, joining me today. I really appreciate it. And thank you everyone for watching. Thank you.